a customer contacted me and asked me how they could take a cut file from their cutting program, such as Gerber, Ioline, etc., and make the embroidery file from that cut file. So I asked them uh, what file formats did the cut file export as, and they gave me a laundry list of all the different formats. And uh, since it was a cut program for embroidery, it made sense that they saved us certain stitch files. Probably one of the easiest ways is just to go ahead and use one of the stitch files. So I told her just to save it as a DST and then punch on top of it. Well, what that means is when the cut file is exported as a DST, an FDR, ZSK, whatever, uh, you can use that in your embroidery program to digitize on top of. And this is how we do it. We're just going to, we, we've already saved the cut file. It's just a simple letter A, and I'm going to open it just like if it was any other DST file. And there it is. This is the file that the machine is going to use to cut this letter. So we're going to use the freeform tool and we're going to use the satin line recipe. Now you could use running stitch or the applique recipe, whatever you like. However, for this tutorial, we're just going to use the satin line. So now we have the, the line selector. We're just going to start outlining it, placing hard point here, 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 and so on. We're just going to go around the shape. Remember, by holding down the control key, we can automatically create corner points, and the shift key simultaneously will lock you into 90 degree movements to make your job a lot faster. At this point, we have the outline of the A made, and I'm going to go ahead and just close that shape, and we're going to stitch it. And then I will come in and do the exact same thing here. You notice that I'm starting in the center of a line. It's just easier to line up your point to make sure you have a nice straight closed shape. From this point, you can then go into the edit mode and change through your embroidery settings. We can change our satin line width. Let's say we want it a little bit wider. We can change our corner types, change pretty much anything we want. However, for the sake of this, like I said, we're just going to make a very simple, because we're trying to show technique more than make a finished embroidery. Once you get it the way you want it to look, you can then, if you want, go to the select mode and come back and delete your DST and you're left with just your stitch file.